I've had this video idea for a while now, since last Mortal May, I think, and I just forgot about it. But we're gonna we're gonna do it now while I'm, I'm, I'm ill and dying. So this is on a website called BrantSteel.net, which has this Hunger Games thing. This was a bit of a meme two years ago, I think. So I'm going to be doing this for a take on the Battle of Armageddon. I've got the most characters possible. Unfortunately, it's not enough to have the full roster of Armageddon, but I've, I've got most of the characters. But you have to put them in teams of four, which means that some weird alliances have to happen with this hypothetical take on Armageddon. So first we have Sonya's team, the Special Forces. And some people might question why Kenshi's not there. Why is Johnny here instead of Kenshi when the four, in the original timeline was Kenshi with these guys. Well, because Kenshi was never really special forces. He was effectively a mercenary they hired who never really stuck with them. We saw it in Sonya's end in, in Deadly Alliance, but that was non-canon. What actually happened was he met Sub-Zero and gained some respect for him. So I put him with the Lin Kuei, and since the Lin Kuei don't have another member other than Frost, I decided to throw in Scorpion. So again, it's like a bit of a mishmash. What if Scorpion showed up and he's like, yeah, I'll, I'll join the Lin Kuei for this. Why not? I mean, what am I going to do? Bring the, sh the, the sheer eyed you zombies? Nah. And Johnny's just here with Sonya because Johnny and Sonya. This is another one that I couldn't really find good teams of four for all of these guys. Like, I could put Kung Lao with, and, and Kung Lao and Fujin with, like, Shujinko and Bo Rai Cho, but who would Dark Raiden and Zombie Liu Kang be with? So, I'm going to cheat a bit and just imagine that these are just the uncorrupted versions or, or versions that are willing to... Maybe Dark Raiden's like, yeah, I'll, I'll work with you guys, that's fine, for old time's sake. But that's the idea. Then we have Team Outworld boss, Shao Kahn and the three sub-bosses from the original games. Brotherhood of Shadow Faction, Shinnok, Quan Chi, Reiko and Moloch. And he did just one of the Netherrealm guys. I could have had Serena because during Armageddon she is being mind controlled by Quan Chi but it makes it harder for the Lin Kuei to make up numbers so Moloch's just here he, he's willing to help them out why not then we have the Red Dragon Dagon, Bavado, Su Hao and Onaga because we needed another member and Onaga doesn't fit in anywhere else but he is one of the four like big faction leaders so he needed to be here I mean I say that but I don't think we even put Shang Tsung in here fuck Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Then we have the Order Realm Alliance. Imagine if they had to work together and strike his head just because, you know, law and order. I needed to make up numbers. Havoc was here originally, but I moved him elsewhere. Then we have the Denian faction, Sindel, Katana, Jade, and Ermac. Havoc and the Black Dragon, because of Deception. Then we have the enemies of Sub-Zero, Noob, Smoke, Sector, and Frost. Then we have Melina's faction, Melina, Baraka, Tanya, and Shiva, just to make up numbers. And then we have... Oh, I can't scroll down further. I had a good zoom set up and all. Fuck. There we go. So now I can get to the bottom of this screen. Huzzah. Uh, Taven, Shujinko, Borai, Cho, Lime. So it's basically just Taven joins up with Shujinko's group, which is him, his master, and his master's new apprentice. And they're going to work together. So yeah, we are missing Shang Tsung. But I think he's really the most notable absentee. I've set the teams now. I can't be asked changing it. I'm going to just go with it. Well, when I was making it first, I was making a version where it was, it was the, the duos. We have less characters overall. And I had Shang in there with Reptile. But uh, yeah, now that it's fours, you know, it's 48 out of 63 characters from Armageddon so I can't have everyone but we'll proceed. The idea is that it's just everyone fucking dies. <laughs> as tribute stand at the podiums the horn sounds. Raiden, Katana and Sonya Blade work together to get as many supplies as possible. Interesting. Kurt Striker runs away. <laughs> from the cornucopia uh, in the hunger games that's where you have all the supplies at the start where you can fight over the supplies or you can run away that's the idea havoc finds a backpack full of camping equipment shiva and liu kang fight for a bag liu kang gives up a retreat <laughs> oh uh i i guess he's, he's off his game because of the whole zombie thing he's not used to being in his body after spending deception as, as a ghost hotaru runs away from the cornucopia lee may grabs a sword i don't see this ending well for her shinnok runs away from the cornucopia smoke gathers as much food as he can moloch runs from the cornucopia Jax gathers as much food as he can sector runs away with a lighter and some rope <laughs> <laughs> Pyromaniac, of course. Cyrax grabs a sword. Shujinko runs away. Taven runs away. Dairu and Fujin fight for a bag. Fujin gives up and retreats. Is there a limit to how to death? Like, can no one die right off the bat? I mean, if Lee May had died right at the start, it would have been hilarious. Uh, Scorpion runs away. Shao Kahn runs away. <laughs> Kenji shoots an arrow into Cobra's head. Oh, I guess characters can die. Yeah, Cobra's dead already. <laughs> Kenji just... I don't know where Kenshi got a bow from, but okay. Baraka snatches a bottle and al of alcohol and a rag. I think you can actually change some of these stuff. I think you can insert your own death things. So it could have been like, this character does telekinesis or opens a portal for demons or something. But I think when I tried setting this up once before, like that stuff didn't save. And I was like, I'm not putting that much effort into it again. Kung Lao takes a handful of throwing knives. 
He's got his hat though. Frost grabs a backpack and retreats. Mavada runs away. Su Hao finds a backpack full of chemical equipment. Quan Chi finds a bag of explosives. <laughs> okay. Noob. Uh, oh no. No, Noob's name isn't capitalized. Ah! He snatches a bottle of alcohol and a rag. Forget it, it's okay. Mm. Serena runs away. Borai Chose scares Tanya away. Ermac runs away. Reiko grabs a jar of fishing bait and Melina gets fishing gear. Kira runs away. Darius runs away. Cabal runs away. Makes sense. Onaga decapitates Motaro with a sword. I don't think he needs a sword, but okay. Honestly, I feel like if you were to put these characters into a scenario and properly write this whole thing out, I do think Motaro and Cobra would probably be the first ones to die just because of, you know, fan popularity and their roles and such. Sinel runs away. Jade runs away. Oh no. Kintaro, Sub Zero, and Johnny. What happens? Kintaro, Sub Zero, and Johnny start fighting, but Sub Zero runs away as Kintaro kills Johnny Cage. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to mourn the death of Johnny Cage. Killed at the hands of Kentaro during the second Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it became real! Johnny, no! Goro runs away from the cornucopia. Dagon takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Proceed. So, day one. Havoc makes a wooden spear. Tanya steals from Suha while he isn't looking. Checks out. Onaga receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. That's another thing you're not familiar with Hunger Games. Like people can sponsor the people competing and just send down stuff for them to help them out. It's like, yeah, I, I, I believe in you, small child. Fujin searches for a water source. Sonya Blade discovers a river. So is Fujin going to find Sonya? Kenji sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Kung Lao dies from thirst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, I know he's been having a bad decade, but it... I, it you know, I'd, I'd rather he get his neck broken or his soul taken or, or, you know, the usual shit. Like, dying of thirst is just sad. Holy shit. D does this thing know Mortal Kombat? They have, a, they have a smart AI behind this and it's like, oh yeah, Kung Lao would totally be one of the first to die. So would Cobra and Mavado. Shao Kahn ambushes Raiden and kills him. Oh, no. <laughs> no, Raiden. Uh, Sub-Zero... Su so, oh, searches for a water source. I thought he said Sub Zero sacrificed himself. I was like, what? Dairu thinks about home. Liu Kang makes a wooden spear. Jade hunts for other tributes. Assassin for life, I guess. Goro steals from Kira while she isn't looking. Okay, I don't see Goro being the stealthy kind of guy, but then this is the same setting where Shao Kahn like, stealths behind Kung Lao while people are looking directly at Kung Lao and where Shao Kahn's coming from, so I guess anything's possible. Jack searches for firewood. Ermac diverts Borai Cho's attention and runs away. Sindel makes a slingshot. Shinnok makes a wooden spear. Noob Cybot constructs a shack. Really? Uh, Dagon chases Baraka. Serena runs away from Scorpion. Checks out. Sector goes hunting. Moloch receives fresh fruit from an unknown sponsor. <laughs> Someone's looking out for my boy. Frost fishes. Cyrax tries to spear fish with a trident. Shiva makes a slingshot. Reiko, Kentaro, and Taven get into a fight. Taven triumphantly kills them both. I mean, he does beat them both in conquest mode, so that does check out in terms of the power scaling. Quan Chi severely slices Melina with a sword, but it doesn't say she died. So Melina might have made it through. Darius thinks about home. That's a common thing with the Order Realm, I guess. Otaru and Shijinko split up to search for resources. It's funny that those two are working together now. I mean, after the whole imprisonment thing, I, I guess Shujinko is just willing to let it go. Curtis Striker and Smoke splits up to search for resources. Lovado steals from Katana while she isn't looking. Lee Mei and Cabal splits up to search for resources. Fallen tributes one. Eight cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Cobra, Motaro, Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Raiden, Reiko, Kintaro. Mil no, Melina did die. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, because you have one status. Okay. The Special Forces lost one member. The Lin Kuei have lost none. Unfortunately, the White Lotus have lost two. Shao Kahn's forces have lost two. Brotherhood of Shadow lost one. The Red Dragon's doing pretty good. So is Order Realm and Edenia. Black Dragon lost one, which is expected. Anti-Sub-Zero have lost none. The Molina faction have lost their leader. So... I imagine Tan well, Tanya or Shiva take over. I imagine those two would fight. Baraka would probably be like, I will not take orders from a Shao Kahn! And be like, Tanya is the leader now. And she was like, I'll, I will wait my chance. Then, yeah, Taven's group are also all still here. So then we proceed. On to night one. Baraka forces Shujinko to kill Sonya or Scorpion. He decides to kill Scorpion? <laughs> what? Uh, come on. Baraka the jobber comes in. He's like, yeah, the main guy of deception who killed Onaga. I'm going to make him choose between killing Sonya or Scorpion. And then Shujinko's just going to kill Scorpion. What the fuck? That, that's not right. 
Cabal is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Well, why can't he start a fire? I imagine because of PTSD. I can't blame him for not being able to start a fire. Borai trollets Serena into his shelter. What? It even say he found a shelter before. Fujin receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Noob Cybot stays awake all night. Checks out. Shinnok stays awake all night. Checks out. Lee may defeat Shiva in a fight, but spurs her life, I guess. Kira destroys Syrax's applies while he's asleep. <laughs> Kitsada, Frost, and Mavado discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Unusual group. Shao Kahn begs for Kenshi to kill him. He refuses, keeping Shao Kahn alive. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just unusual. Oh, God. You know, it's official. is not going to be happy with this. That guy loves Shao Kahn. He's not going to be happy to see Shao Kahn beg for his life. Sektor starts a fire. Checks out. Jax, Dairu, Ermac, and Havoc sleep in shifts. It's so weird how it's like, yeah, put together characters from one district, but they don't work together. I would have thought that would be one of the points of it. This thing should have like a proper team thing where characters will try and stick in teams and like maybe when teams are, are reduced, they will start coming together. Smoke questions his sanity. Well, considering how much time he spends under mind control, yeah, it makes sense. Curtis Striker, Jade, and Liu Kang cheerfully sing songs together. That's really funny when you look at the portrait of Liu Kang as a zombie. Taven starts a fire. Well, his mother was a fire person who made Blaze, so I guess it makes sense. Moloch and Onaga's. <laughs> Moloch and Onaga huddle for warm. <laughs> That's great. Darius tends to Dagon's wounds. What wounds? Suhao loses sight of where he is. Quan Chi and Tanya huddle for warmth. Sub-Zero sets up camp for the night. Goro loses sight of where he is. Hotaru tends to his wounds. Sindel stays awake all night. Day two. Shiva steals from Quan Chi while he isn't looking. Good on your love. Taven thinks about home. Onaga, Moloch, Hotaru, Sekto and Frost hunt for other tributes. Does this mean they're hunting as a pack or individually? That like they're all just individually doing this. Dagon receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Jax picks fl- Okay then. Jax picks flowers. Ermac defeats Fujin in a fight but spurs his life. I mean, I, I don't see Ermac being capable of that in the Netherrealm timeline, but this is more in the realm of Midway timeline, so I guess it makes sense. Baraka tracks down and kills Sub-Zero. That is what happened in the Battle of Armageddon canonically, actually, because we see Baraka's severed arm with the blade stuck in Sub-Zero's back. So yeah, this, this thing seems to know Mortal Kombat pretty well. It's just trying to fuck with me at points. Shijinko tries to sleep through the entire day for some reason. Curtis Stryker thinks about home. Yes, this is an order realm thing. Or maybe it's just down to the group I place these characters over. Maybe those characters just tend to do this. Darius, Serena, Katana, Kenshi, and Kenshi raid Smoke's camp while he is hunting. Lee Mei makes a wooden spear. Borai Cho tends to Goro's wounds. Ah, you are the mortal enemy of all of my pupils, but I will save your life. Kira searches for a water source. Liu Kang receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Yeah, the thing is, it's always like, yeah, this, these characters make these weapons, but it doesn't keep track of what weapons they have. If this, this was more advanced, it'd be even cooler. But like, okay, so he's got an explosive. Well, next time he shows up and attacks someone, he's going to use that explosive. Noob Cybot stalks Tanya. Voice of slays her, but no, he just stalks her. Suhao... Havoc, Shao Kahn, Sindel, and Cabal hunt for other tributes. That can't be as a group. There's no way Sindel would work with Shao Kahn unless she was mind control. That, that is possibly a thing that's happening again here. Cyrax tends to Shinnok's wounds. Sonya Blade steals from Dairu while he isn't looking. Havoc fishes and Jade discovers a cave. Uneventful. Arena event. A monstrous hurricane wreaks havoc on the area. Fujin survives. Oh, that pushes Noob Cybot into an incoming boulder. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to say that into uh, the hurricane. So it would be like the Solnado, but this, this works. Kenshi survives. Goal pushes Dagon into an incoming boulder. Quan Chi is sucked into the hurricane. <laughs> I wish it was Noob doing that. Sonya Blade survives. Sindel stabs Su Hao, then pushes him close enough to the hurricane to suck him in. Shinnok survives. Tanya is incapacitated by flying debris and dies. <laughs> so this is just literally rocks fall and everybody dies. Frost survives. Sektor survives. Hotaru is incapacitated by flying debris and dies. Jade is as well. Borai Cho survives. Serena survives. Daru survives. Curtis Striker survives. Cyrax. Uh, Havoc they survive. Baraka is sucked into the hurricane. This is just killing everyone. Like Not many characters are actually doing stuff, but now, now suddenly this big hurricane... Where's Fujin? Did I see Fujin before? Okay, since he's mentioned first, I have to assume he did this to kill enemy combatants. And he's done well so far. It's mostly been villains that have died. Unfortunately, Jade got taken out as well. But other than that, yeah, it's just been villains. Kira tries to save Katana from being sucked into the hurricane. Only to be sucked in as well. 
I don't see Kira doing that personally, but okay. Smoke is sucked in, Goro survives, Taven survives, Jack survives, Motaro, flying debris. Lee May Lee May pulls through, ironically, despite being the first to go out in Armageddon. Shiva stabs Darius and pushes him close enough to get sucked in. Moloch survives, Onaga pushes Shao Kahn to an incoming folding. Yes! Justice for Onaga! <laughs> Uh, Liu Kang pushes Jujinko into an incoming boulder. Why is Liu Kang just being so mean to him? Okay, if this was a sign that he's going to become Dark Raiden, that his patience for mortals is worn thin. Fallen tributes to Scorpion, Sub Zero, Noob Saibot, Dagon, Quan Chi, Su Hao, Tanya, Hotaru, Jade, Baraka, Kira, Kitana, Smoke, Mavado, Darius, Shao Kahn, Jujinko. Everyone's status. The Special Forces have only lost Johnny Cage. The Lin Kuei have lost the two poster boys, so I I, I imagine Kenshi's going to say, well, fuck it, I'm the leader now, and, and Serena's going to be like, yeah, sure. The White Lotus has lost half its members. Liu Kang now assumes command. Shao Kahn's forces are down to Goro. Things aren't going to go well for that guy. Brotherhood is down to Shinnok and Moloch. The Red Dragon is all wiped out. Onaga just is the Red Dragon now, I guess. Order Realm has lost the two main faction leaders from Order Realm, so it's just Dairu and Striker. I guess Dairu is going to take command. Iden is down to Sindel and Ermac. Unfortunately, Katana and Jade didn't make it. Sindel retains command. Now it's just Havoc and Cabal palling around. The rest of the Black Dragon are gone. The Anti-Sub-Zero Force is down to Sector and Frost. Sector takes command, I guess. Melina's faction is down to Shiva now. Taven's faction is down to Taven and Shujinko's friends. Oh, it also says how, how many people each one have killed. Kenshi has a kill. Liu Kang has a kill. Shao Kahn and Kentaro got kills, but they're dead. Quan Chi got a kill, but he's dead. Onaga has two kills. Sindel and Ermac have killed each. Cabal has killed. Shiva has killed. Baraka got killed before he died. Taven got two kills. And Shujinko got a kill before he died. Alas. Time to proceed to night two. Sonya Blade tries to sing herself to sleep. That's very sad. But, you know, she's, she's she only lost... Well, she lost Johnny Cage, I guess that's why. Serena cooks her food before putting her fire out. Onaga, Liu Kang, Frost, and Fujin sleep in shifts. Odd group. Sector tends to Goro's wounds. He, he would never. Taven loses sight of where he is. Li Mei receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. This is another one. It's like, why does she need medical supplies? She didn't even get wounded. Shinnok, Cabal, and Shiva sleep in shifts. Striker and Cyrax... Oh, Stryker stri stri sets Cyrax on fire with a Molotov. I, I think he would actually survive that, but everyone's meant to be fleshy in this, so he, nah, he's dead. Havoc, Havoc bleeds out due to untreated injuries. From what? Also, Havoc seems like the least likely to bleed to death. Sindel defeats Dairu in a fight, but spurs his life. Mm, makes sense. Moloch sets an explosive off, killing Kenshi, Jackson, Ermac. <laughs> Hang on. Moloch knows how to use plastic explosives and killed off Kenshi, Jackson, Briggs, and Ermac. What? <laughs> this is insane. Borai Cho tries to treat his infection. Tries. Does he succeed? Day three. Taven questions his sanity. I would too at this point. I mean, if I had seen Moloch use plastic explosives to kill Ermac, Kenji, and Jax, I would question my sanity too. Kurzy Striker diverts Sindel's attention and runs away. Frost chases Shiva. Fujin constructs a shack. Darius collects fruit from a tree. Goro tends to Lime's wounds. Kabal, Liu Kang, and Borai Cho hunt for other tributes. <laughs> Just the idea of like, of like, come on, yeah. Liu Kang and Borai Cho be like hunting people for sport. Onaga throws a knife into Shinnok's chest. <laughs> oh no, Shinnok's entire alliance plan is just completely unraveled because Onaga fucking, fucking did a Call of Duty 2 throwing knife and just took him out like he was Soap McTavish. Holy shit. Moloch discovers a river. Sector and Serena split up to search for resources. Those two would never work together. Sonya Blade sees smoke. Smoke. Smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think Smoke's still on the field. So, Cyrax, Havoc, Kenshi, Jax, Ermac, and Shinnok died this time. Okay, so, Special Forces is down to Sonya. Lin Kuei is down to Serena. White Lotus has still got half its members. Goro still going. The Brotherhood of Shadow are all dead. Morlock's just on his own. Onaga's still going. Strike and Dairu is still doing well, somehow. Sindel's the only Denian left. Cabal is the only Black Dragon left. Sector and Frost are still going. Shiva's still going. Oh, yeah. Taven's team's still doing really well. Night 3. Liu Kang and Taven tell stories about themselves to each other. Makes sense. Striker defeats Cabal in a fight but spurs his life. Makes sense. Dairu attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. Sure. Shiva and Lee may run into each other and decide to truce for the night. 
I mean, it is a woman. I'm sure Shiva would be willing to spare a woman because she's a sexist piece of shit now. Frost goes to sleep. Sonya Blade is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. That's sad. Fujin lets Onar get into his shelter. I don't know why he would. Serena lets Sindel into her shelter. For a minute, I thought I said that she killed her. Goro forces Boraichou to kill Moloch or Sector. He decides to kill Moloch. You know what? Yeah, if I had a choice between killing Moloch or Sector, I would take out the Oni with the plastic explosives as well. <laughs> you have to take out the guy with the highest kill count. It's the only way. Dear four. Taven discovers a cave. Daru sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Lime is prickled by thorns while picking berries. Is this going to say she dies? Will she die from this? Liu Kang collects fruit from a tree. Onaga tries to sleep through the entire day. Sonya and Shiva hunt for other tributes. Sonya's had enough of this shit. Sets off forces Sindel to kill Goro or Serena. She decides to kill Serena? Why would you not kill the guy who betrayed Kitana? You f- oh. That's it for the Lin Kuei then. Striker sprains his ankle while running away from Frost. Cabal steals from Boracho while he isn't looking. Checks out. And Fujin constructs a shack. Arena events. Monkey Mutts fill the area. Goro survives. Sindel survives. Sector survives. Onaga survives. Cabal dies from internal bleeding caused by a Monkey Mutt. How do you not get away? Striker is pummeled to the ground and killed by a troop of Monkey Mutts. Frost survives. While running, Lime falls and grabs Liu Kang on the way down. The Monkey Mutts kill <laughs> Leave me! You killed the hero! What are you doing? And Boracho lives, yeah. He, he watches his best student and his newest student both fucking get pummeled to death by monkeys. But he makes it out. Shiva survives. Taven injures Dairu and leaves him for the monkey monster. <laughs> Holy shit. Fujin survives. Sonya survives. Sonya's, Sonya's tenacious. Seven cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Moloch, Serena, Cabal Striker, Li Mei, Liu Kang and Dairu. Everyone's status. Sonya's the only special forces left. The Lin Kuei are out. Fujin's the only White Lotus left. Goro's the only Outworlder left. And none of them have got kills. Interesting. All of Shinnok's forces are out. Onaga's still going. The Order Realm's out. Sindel's still going for Edenia. All the Black Dragon are gone. Sector and Frost are still a strong faction. Shiva's still around. And Taven and Borai Cho are still going. And now which of these have got kills so far? Onaga has three kills. Sindel has two. Shiva has one, Taven has three, and Boracho has one. So, in terms of chances, I think Taven and Boracho still have the best chance. Now, I wonder, is this because of the factions? Because I think District 12 is Katniss's, and Taven is in her slot, I believe. So, that could be influencing who is the most powerful. Nightfall. Sony sets up a camp. Goro attempts to start a fire, but fails. Fujin questions his sanity. Boracho cooks his food before putting his fire out. Shiva fends Sindel, Frost, and Sector away from her fire. Onaga thinks about winning. Okay. Taven stays awake all night. Corner Cup is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Frost decides not to go to the feast. Shiva stabs Taven while his bag is turned. <laughs> is Taven dead? Did Shiva just stab Taven in the, in the spine now he's out? Goro decides not to go to the feast. Sonya dies from an infection. After all that. I mean, it's a better fate than being a sex slave, let's be honest. Fujin, Sector, Sindel, and Onaga team up to grab food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. But Red Cho can't handle the circumstances to commit suicide. <laughs> What? What the fuck? Day five. Oh, that's all we've got left. Shiva defeats Frost in a fight but spurs her life. Yeah, she just lets women go. She's she, she'll bitch. Fujin overhears Goro and Onaga talking in the distance. Sindel can't handle the circumstances. Stop doing that, Sindel. Stop it. Sector questions his sanity. Fallen tributes. Taven got stabbed in the spine. Sonya died of an infection. Boracho and Sindel off to themselves. They harakiried. So, Special Forces and the Lin Kuei are both done. We still have Fujin and Goro. The Brotherhood's all gone. Onaga's still kicking around. Idenia has now joined Order Realm, has finished. Black Dragon's finished. Sector and Frost are still going, so their faction's winning. Shiva is... she's got two kills, so she's doing well. And unfortunately, Taven's faction is done. So, Onaga has three kills, so he's got a good shot, but then they've also got the teamwork of Sector and Frost, but they've not killed anyone yet. Proceed. Night five. Shiva, Onaga, and Frost shavely sing songs together. Now, nah, Shiva would not shavely sing songs with a man, and Onaga would not shavely sing songs at all. Frost also has no cheer, so yeah. Fujin screams for help. <laughs> oh, Fujin's the last good guy. Goro dies from infection. The, the mighty champion of, our, of, our, of Outworld reigned for 450 years, won nine straight tournaments, died from an infection. <laughs> Sector passes out from things. Can, can the cyborgs pass out? Is that a thing? Frost, Shiva, Fujin, and Onaga raise Sector's camp while he's hunting. And Goro is dead, so we'll just proceed. Not much really changed. Shiva, Fujin, and Sector and Onaga track down and kill Frost. I guess Sector's like, hey, assholes, who stole my supplies? Like, oh, it was Frost. And so they agreed to help him kill her. And wait, they were on the same team. 
The Sector and Frost are on the same team and now she's dead. She was searching for a water source, food in stock, Sector, Unaga, questions his sanity. This lasts for a while. I, 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 think, I think in the film it doesn't last this long. Onaga tries to sing himself to sleep, Fujin tries to treat his infection, Shiva goes to sleep, Sector looks at the night sky. Onaga practices archery, Shiva defeats Fujin in a fight but spurs his life. Oh, shocking. Maybe she's like, he... wait, weren't there five of them just now or am I completely losing? Am I questioning my sanity like Sector now? No cannon shots heard in the distance. Yeah, so I, I guess no one died from infection. Onaga fends Sector, Shiva and Fujin away from his fire. Fujin explores the area. Shiva, Onaga, and Sector start fighting, but Onaga runs away as Shiva kills Sector. <laughs> Onaga runs away like a coward. I guess he learned a lesson from Shao Kahn. And Fujin is just off on his own, being like, I'm the only good guy left. I have to be the one to win. Otherwise, we're all fucked. Shiva tries to sing herself to sleep. Fujin screams for help. Onaga tries to sing himself to sleep. They're all losing it. Oh no. Shiva stabs Onaga while his back is turned, he checks out, and Fujin dies of dysentery. And with that. Shiva is the winner. Shiva has won Armageddon. And so now we have the final results. Shiva is the winner with five kills. Second place is Fujin with one. Then Onaga, who got four. Then Sektor, who got one. Frost, then Goro, Sindel, Boraicho, Sonya, Taven, Dairu, Liu Kang, Li Mei, Stryker, Cabal, Serena, Moloch, Shinnok, Ermac, Jax, Kenshi, Havok, Cyrax, Shujinko, Shao Kahn died really early, it's, it's kind of shocking. Darius, Mavado, Smoke, Katana, Kira, Baraka, Jade, Hotaru, Tanya, Suhao, Quan Chi, Dagon, Noob Saibot, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, yeah, they died really early. Melina, Kintaro, Reiko, Raiden, Kung Lao, Johnny Cage, Motaro, and Cobra. Yeah, if I was going to place any four characters to be the first to die, these would be the ones. That's just how it goes. Ah, and then here's like just a summary of the whole thing. Uh, hmm. If this fits in the description, then I'll copy it there. If not, I'll have a link to somewhere because this is just golden. But while we're here, I'm going to go Shiva is the winner of Armageddon, which means at the moment of victory over Blaze, Shiva was blinded by a flash of energy. When she regained her sight, she found herself standing before the Elder Gods. They were clearly alarmed that neither Taven nor Dagon had completed the quest. Their desire to prevent further turmoil prompted them to transform Shiva into a goddess of destruction. I get it. Shiva. Yeah, Shiva spell with an I. Next time you name yourself after a Hindu god, at least try to spell it right. If you got that reference, you are a true MK fan. One by one, she laid waste to the realms using a powerful Kamidogu. When the realms reformed, nothing was as it had been. What a shit ending. That was awful. But this whole thing has been a really fun little experiment. If you guys would like to see another of these, I I could easily put together another one. Probably focus on the Netherrealm era. So you have the Combat Kids as a group, and then you have the, the Parents as a group, and Kotal's crew. There's a lot of groups of four, actually. This could work really well. Let me know if you want to see the Netherrealm era version of this, and let's hope that Shiva doesn't win again, because that's that that was embarrassing. Holy shit.